بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہائے ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو دا چینل دس از ڈاکٹر مجاہد بنیری ہیئر آئی ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو ٹیک ہسٹری آف پیشنٹ پریزنٹیڈ ٹو یو ود لمپ ایٹ اینی سائٹ ان باڈی سو لیٹس بگن You should remember 11 points about history taking of lump. First of all, you will greet the patient. Introduce yourself and take consent from patient. Then ask the name, age, occupation, and address of patient. Document all the information which you are collecting from patient. Okay, move on to the next point. You will ask about site of lump. Some swellings are most commonly originating at a specific site. For instance, Ganglion cyst is most common at wrist joint. Carbuncle is common at back of neck, etc. Asking the site of lump will help you to make differential diagnosis from top to bottom. Okay. Let's move on to next question. ask about duration of the lump this will give you clue about acute and chronic conditions okay move on ask the patient how did you notice it for the first time whether it is noticed by you or other person whether it is noticed by you due to pain bleeding or lymph node enlargement in axilla inguinal region or neck region etc okay let me take you to the next question Ask the patient about associated symptoms like fever, weight loss, bleeding and discharge etc. Move on to the next question. Ask about progression of lump. Whether the lump increases or decreases in size or it has same size from noticing of lump up till now okay let's move on to the next point ask about persistence of lump ask the patient whether it is present from beginning or it has some association with other things like appearance of lump with weight lifting, cupping, then disappear, etc. Next question. Ask about multiplicity of lump. Ask the patient whether it is present at other sides of body or not. This will also give you clue about differential diagnosis. Move on to the next question. Ask about cause of lump. For example, trauma, surgery or any other condition which you 
or the patient think that it can be the probable cause of lump okay at the end don't forget to say thank you to the patient now it's the time to summarize all the points related to history taking of lump first you will greet the patient introduce yourself and consent taking then you will ask about the demography of patient then you will ask about site of lump duration of lump and how did he or she notice the swelling for the first time then ask about associated symptoms progression of lump and persistence of lump then you will ask about whether the lump is single or multiple and ask about probable cause of lump at the end say thank you to the patient this was all about today's lecture thanks for watching